Hi, Emma. It's Miss Pam, and this is our third lesson for your um, reading. And I would like for you to make sure you have your book. And then there's going to be a worksheet in your packet that Miss Hannah sent you. It looks like this. I need you to put that to the side because we're going to do some work together. And you will also need a pencil for that. So I'll let you get your materials ready. And while you're getting your materials ready, the first thing we're going to do is just read through our book together. So this will be our third time reading it together. And um, hopefully you can just put it with all your other books that you have at your house that we did this year and add to your library. All right, are you ready? Let's read our book, starting with our title page. I work at the stables. And if you look down at the very bottom, we forgot to talk about this. It says, written by Aria Fletcher Ratliff. And we know that the person who writes the book is called the author. All right. Oh, Miss Pam's pages are getting stuck together. And here's a picture of Aria and her horse, Duke. And remember, our focus question is... How do people take care of horses? So as we're reading today, I want you to really think about, at the end of the story, ways that Aria has taken care of her horse, Duke. Because we're gonna be talking about those um, details of what Aria does to care for Duke and putting it on our worksheet. And let's go over our words to know that we highlighted yesterday. And let's read them together. Begin. Coat, hoof, stables, stall, stretch, and watch. Page three. Are you ready? I wish I could hear you reading. Here we go. My name is Aria. I work at the stables. This is my horse. His name is Duke. Watch me brush Duke's coat. Watch me clean Duke's hoof. Watch me clean Duke's stall. Watch me stretch Duke's leg. Watch me take Duke for a ride. Watch Duke and his friend play together. Watch 
Watch Duke roll around in the dirt. Watch me feed Duke from his pail. Watch me give Duke a goodbye kiss. The end. All right, excellent reading, Emma. I hope I didn't go too fast for you or too slow. So what I want you to do right now is get out this sheet of paper that Miss uh, Hannah put in your packet, and I'd like for you to write up here, talk of, uh, talk, write your name, Now, I want you to look at what Miss Pam is highlighting, and you don't have to highlight this. I'm gonna highlight these two words. It says, main idea. Now, a main idea of a story is what the story is mainly about. So I want you to think for just a minute about our book. What comes to your mind, Emma, when I ask you the main idea of this book? In other words, what is this book mainly about? That's right. And I'm gonna highlight this sentence and you can highlight it if you want to. The book is mainly about taking care of a horse. Taking care of a horse has many steps. So that sentence is our main idea. And if you remember, our focus question at the very beginning was, how do people take care of horses? So that's what the main idea is about. Now, we know that the main idea is all about ways to take care of horses. And in this instant, it was different ways that Aria took care of Duke. So down here at the very bottom, it says, read the main idea, which I just did. Then I'm gonna have you draw and label details that support the main idea. Now, what I'm asking you to do here, Emma, is you have four areas, four squares, one, two, three, four. And I want you to think back in our story, and this is where you need your pencil, and I want you to think of one way that Aria had to take care of Duke. Now, if you can't remember, you are certainly allowed to open your book and see if you can find a picture that reminds you or shows you a way in which Aria takes care of Duke. Now, on page four, I'd like for you to get to page four what was Aria doing here to Duke? What was Aria doing to Duke? You're right. Aria was brushing Duke's coat. So that's one thing that owners have to do to take care of their horses. They have to brush their coat, keep it nice and shiny and clean, just like you would brush your hair. So instead of drawing a picture right now, I want you to take your pencil and at the very bottom, I want you to write brush coat. It does 
doesn't have to be the com it does not have to be a complete sentence. You can just write a phrase, brush coat. That's going to remind us that's a detail of something that has to be done to care for a horse. And that means to brush their coat. All right, and if you can't remember how to write the word brush or coat, remember it's in the sentence on page four. All right, let's see if we can turn the page. Well, I know we can turn the page and see if the next page gives us another example or detail of how to care for a, a horse. It sure does. What is Aria doing here? That's right, she's cleaning Duke's hoof. So if you would like to write down that detail, you can write clean the hoof. Clean the hoof. And the word clean and hoof is right there. Now, once you have finished writing this detail, we have one detail here, or one way a horse has to be cared for. They have to brush, have their coat brushed. They have to clean their hoof. I would like for you, Emma R, to come up with two more ways a horse has to be cared for. So you can look through your book on page six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. But out of those pages, I want you to think of two more ways that a horse has to be taken care of. Now, some of those pages told us what Duke liked to do. I'm looking for two ways that the horse, Duke, has to be cared for. So there's a difference. So what I want you to do for the remaining of this lesson on your own is write two more ways that Duke or a horse has to be cared for using your book. And after you write those two ways, I would like for you to draw a picture showing Aria brushing Duke's coat, cleaning the hoof, and whatever two um, phrases or sentences you write down here. If you would like to color your picture with colored pencils or crowns, that is fine. But the rest of the activity, I would like for you to do independently. I hope you've enjoyed your book um, that we did this week. And I hope you have a great day, Emma. I miss you. Do your very best, and we'll check check your work when you turn it back in to uh, Miss Hannah. Have a great rest of the week. Bye-bye.